Hello, my lovely Sages, and a very warm welcome to your May 2021 horoscope. The next couple of months are big months. Next month, we've got the eclipses, but more about that in next month's forecast. The big news for you this month is that your ruler, Jupiter, is going to change sign. And it's going to be in Pisces until the 29th of July. So this changes things quite a lot. And at the end of the month, Mercury will go retrograde. So let's look at what all this means for you, my lovely Sagittarius. Well, there's going to be a large focus for you on the relationship house. On the fourth of the month, we've got Mercury going into the seventh house of relationships. On the ninth of the month, we've got Venus. And on the 20th of the month, we've got the sun going into that house. So a lot happening in the relationship area. So this is a good time for clearing the air, for having important discussions, communications. It's a great time for love, a great time for a new love, or the reigniting of an existing relationship. It's a time to really look at what you want in a relationship. What makes you feel loved? We all have different ways of feeling loved. Are you expressing that enough to yourself? If you know what makes you feel loved, are you doing those things and giving that to you so that you are coming not from a needy space into a relationship, but from a space that is already full and filled up with nourishment and this will make your relationships all the more rewarding and fulfilling. On the 11th of the month, we have got a lovely new moon happening in your sixth house. So this is a, a new beginning possibly for many of you with your work, a new direction. But it's also an opportunity for a renewal and a rebirth to do with your physical health, your physical well-being, your energy. It's a good time to put energy into what am I eating, not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally. What am I taking in? And am I digesting it? Is it sitting well with me? Do I need to make some changes? Do I need to move more? What's my body saying? It's really an opportunity to really reactivate, regenerate your cells. So this can be very positive if you really listen to the messages that your body is saying to you and you act upon them. And acting upon them may be taking naps and having rests a little more, taking a little easier than you have been doing. It's important to listen and to follow it without judgment. Now on the 14th of the month, this is when your ruler moves into your fourth house joining Neptune there, going to be there until the 29th of July. And this is a wonderful time for expanding your home base. So you may be traveling. You may be packing your bags and going off somewhere. You may be living between two places or maybe even three. You may be expanding your home base. You may be getting some land. You may be doing something with a community of people. You may be working more from home. You may be teaching from home. Jupiter is the teacher the instructor, coaching, mentoring. There may be an expansion to your family. It may grow in some way. And there may be some good fortune and some good news connected with family and connected with home. But it's time to expand out a little bit with Jupiter. On the 21st, we've got the sun coming into your seventh house. This is shining a, a light on relationships once again new romance possibly, new energy into your relationships, and for you to focus upon ways in which you can shine in your relationships. Shine your light, don't hide, but come on out as you normally do, lovely Sages, and share more of yourself. On the 26th of the month, important time, we've got a lunar eclipse in your sign, lovely Sages. 
Sorry, I said eclipses were next month. No, they're at the end of this month and next month. So this is a really important time and a lunar eclipse in your sign, the energies can last for a good six months. So this is a time of where you may be reinventing yourself. Not quite sure in some ways the direction you're going in, feeling your way. And the lunar eclipse just encourages you to look at everything. The things you might not want to look at, as well as the things you'd like to examine. To allow yourself to receive. The moon is a receiver. Yes, the sun is a projector, but the moon energy is about receiving. So receive the messages. Receive the subtleties. Be open to receiving downloads and aha moments. And trust that intuitive voice, because that's what that lunar eclipse is encouraging you to do to be the authentic you and not to allow yourself to be influenced and pushed by others into something that you don't want to do. And finally, on the 30th of the month, Mercury retrograde, this could well be bringing somebody from your past back into your life. And you may contact somebody from your past yourself. Mercury retrograde till the 23rd of June. So it's good to start new projects before the end of the month. Start negotiations before the end of the month, and then they may well complete easily during the Mercury retrograde. So I'm going to share my screen now and share with you the important dates coming up for this month. So you'll have them to hand, and I will be doing hopefully some live streams in more detail about these transitional dates and important times. And if you haven't done it already, you may wish to click the bell icon at the top right hand side of my channel and you will be notified in advance of when I go live. So I want to wish you a wonderful month. I want to thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.